You know, they say you shouldn't reinvent the wheel. I disagree. Hello Chip Dippers and welcome to Kitesla. I'm so excited to show you what's coming up. I thought I'd never see you again. Don't be silly kid, that's never gonna happen. Well, I've just been enjoying in the meantime driving Kitesla, especially when Kit responds to songs I happen to be listening to, like this one. Anything in particular you want me to look for? <laughs> That song is written by Pet Shop Boys, if you didn't know. But speaking of looking for things, in this recipe, we are looking to change the exterior look of Kit Tesla to make him, or it, more Kit-like. Kit was a man, wasn't he? Yeah, he had an exhaust pipe. Anyway, well, uh, although he is the Night Industries 2000, for this episode, I have a budget of $5,000. Five dollars. To spend on just one of these two things. We could give the car a gloss black wrap to look just like the real kit, albeit with Tesla wheels. Or whilst the real kit had these distinctive 14 inch wheels, we could import these special custom made 18 inch kit replica wheels from Project Knight in Japan to replace our Tesla's 18 inch wheels. With one caveat, due to a bit of a language barrier, I'd have to take an educated guess as to whether the five bolt pattern on the custom wheels will match the five bolt pattern of a Tesla like they think it will. But good news, as I pull over here, because Tesla have just launched this new feature, you might have seen it on the news and in some of the car shows. If I put the car in park and head over to the screen here, you can actually change the exterior color of the car. So let's go for a classic kit gloss black. This is genuinely the first time I'm trying this. I can't wait to show you. Are you quite sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. And with that done, let's head outside and check it out. Are you ready? Of course. Okay, here we go. I've obviously misunderstood something. No one knows. No one knows. Yeah, I should have known. All right. <clears throat> Moving on, literally. Uh, well, while a, a gloss black wrap is really tempting, I think for the money, we might be better off doing the wheels. Here's why. The car is already basically a dark color, and when we go to the dry lake bed to reproduce those opening credits from the show, we can easily just nudge the contrast down on the footage, and we can leave it black on the screen here as well. So I think the way to go is turbo cast wheels. I'm at full power. I, I said turbo cast, not turbo boost. Turbo cast was the name of the wheels that came with the Trans Am that Kit is based on, with of course that distinctive bowling ball hubcap. So yeah, I think new wheels will make this more Kit-like than making it just another one of the million black Teslas out there. But we've got much more than just wheels coming up, so stay tuned. You've probably begun to form a psychological attachment to me. That would be a logical human response. That's another good reason to also stay tuned. And 
a very long boat ride later, here finally are the wheels, as received at the Retro Recipes HQ after paying a customs ransom. Speaking of which, if you're able to help support this and the other projects, you'll notice a new thanks button directly under the video. Or of course, there's always our Patreon and YouTube channel memberships with many perks to thank you for your support. So thanks. And in return, where am I taking you now as we drive down this familiar road? Yeah, incredibly the same bushes are still here in the same places 40 years after this Knight Rider footage was shot here. And the answer is we are on our way to House of Tires, where we're going to find out right now if I am truly Cinderella and the wheels fit, or if I'm just an ugly sister. Your logic in this case is totally illogical, and yet it's absolutely correct. Great. Now they're ganging up on me. Going up in the world. Yes. Obligatory pun. It's better already. Not the right uh, bolt pattern. Bolt pattern means the matching of the drill. Is that something that you can use adapters for? Um, yes, but it's gonna make your car stick out a lot. There's a place I could send you to yeah. where they could redrill them. Okay. Uh, slightly off, just a little bit off, right? Yep. You want me to tell my honest opinion? Yeah, tell me your honest opinion. I think if you put those wheels, you completely have a different concept of vehicle here. Yeah. I've never seen them before. Right. And it'll be something super cool. I like your thinking. All right. <laughs> Thank you. They've recommended a place 15 minutes away that is apparently the only one with a special machine that can actually help us re-drill the holes to fit Kit Tesla. That'd be frantic. Do you want to go there now? Okay, let's go there now. That's not the place we're going, strangely enough. Well, that probably should have been, shouldn't it? American nuts. Wait, am I American nut? No one knows. Thank you for not saying yes, kid. Oh yes, much more appropriately named. And I think I know why the size difference problem that we're having is happening. See, the new wheel bolt pattern is 120.7 millimeters, the same as the Tesla Model S, which I think is where the confusion crept in because I, of course, have a Tesla Model 3 where the spacing is 114.3 millimeters, which means our new wheel bolt pattern is just 6.4 millimeters out. And so here is Bonnie herself, or is it April, I don't know, drilling the hole slightly wider. To accommodate a 6.4 millimeter difference, each hole needs to move or be bigger by 3.2 millimeters. But the torturous looking drill that they're using is a bit bigger than that to allow room for an insert to go in later. I'm afraid. Me too, buddy, me too. Now, I'm not sure why April keeps squirting orange juice from her lunchbox onto it, but I'm guessing it's to help with the drill temperature and travel. And next, those inserts that I mentioned a moment ago are hammered into place. And with that, the hole has been widened just enough. Once all five bolts are in place, each bolt will actually stop the bolts in the other holes from moving inside their now larger hole. They should all just hold each other perfectly central in their new narrower positions because physics. 
Well, while our friend and their orange juice rinse finish up the other wheels, let's take your Tesla for a much needed rinse of his own to prep for more exterior changes coming right up. And all this drilling and washing makes me think about PCB Way! Where you can get great quality PCBs from just five bucks. And they've just launched a brand new OEM one-stop solution for full product development from A to Z. Because as we all know, PCB Way stands for pretty clean, buggy, washed and yours. I mean, I mean mine, doesn't it? Well, take a last look at Kitesla in its original, now shinier form. Oh wait, I just realized we uh, we paid to wash wheels that we're about to trash. Never mind, I suppose it's too late for a refund. Um, but you see all those chrome pieces too? We're gonna to be getting rid of those as well. Unless you wanna show your face, it's up to you. Nice. Thank goodness indeed, Kit. That is such a relief. Oh. Testing, testing. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Testing, three. testing. Now, one cool thing here that I didn't expect is the Tesla tire sensor fits perfectly on the new wheels, meaning that even though they're copies of 40-year-old rims, we'll still get accurate tire pressure status on Kit Tesla's modern screen. Nice. I mean, nice. But the bad news is, because these wheels are a lot wider than my originals, we'll need four new tires at $280 a pop. Hopefully they don't pop. Is something wrong? Well, yeah, actually, buddy, I'm a little worried now that these are going to stick out so far that they'll make you look goofy. Uh, but no going back now, I guess. Thank you for your concern. You're welcome. And here are those new tyres, custom ordered. They don't do Goodyear ones in this size, which are the original brand that Kit used. But I think we have to draw the line somewhere and just get this job done. coming. It's coming. How we won't know for a while yet. That is frankly terrifying. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it was meant to happen, right? Bonnie, do you know what that was? <laughs> Why is she laughing at me? These really do stick out, don't they? I think we may have made a bit of a mistake here. Um... Well, let's at least test there's no arch rub when cornering. And amazingly, it's all going smoothly so far. Uh, I guess it's too soon to judge the styling, but let's get the rest of the wheels on and see how it looks. Well, the car is off the air now. I guess technically it's turbo boosting, right? Just very slowly. I'm at full power. amazed these actually look really good like really good it sort of reminds me of how a buggy looks much sportier much chunkier I kind of feel like it's like a remote control car that i would have had as a kid that you could drop from a great height and it would always just bounce and land on its wheels like a cat cat esla hmm. yes but you forgot the hair of the dog woof <laughs> shall i go on you got it did i hear what i think i heard what do you say pal 
Michael, I'm so glad to see you. I have new diodes and circuit boards. Whoa, don't worry yourself out. But all of this introduces another issue, which is those distinctive kit bowling ball hubcaps. They're also drilled at 120 millimeter bolt pattern size, not 114, meaning we have to try to adjust those too so they can fit onto the new bolts. Um, and just around the corner here, I found this place that claims that they can add some fiberglass to these fiberglass hubcaps so that I can then drill the new holes at slightly narrower positions. Wonder how long it will take Oh, that was quick. <laughs> and yet another conundrum presents itself. These special bolts that came with the new wheels and allow the hubcaps to bolt onto the wheel are 12 millimeters wide, but the Tesla nuts are 14 millimeters wide and don't allow covers to bolt onto them. So I need some sort of double ended 14 millimeter ones. Um, so I Googled it on Yahoo and I found some 40 millimeter versions on a small web shop called Amazon uh, and they'll be here tomorrow. Very good service for a small shop. And one interesting point to consider is those aero wheels we removed actually contribute to the car's efficiency due to their special wind tunnel designed hubcaps. So the new wheels will admittedly be about 3% less efficient, but we can actually change the wheels in the car's settings for less efficient ones. And it'll factor that slight performance change in when calculating the mileage range for trips. It even changes the picture of the car to show the different wheels. This car feels more like a real kit every minute. What's the square root of 256 in the capital of Montana? Bonnie, really? Do you know the answer? Can Michael Jackson moonwalk? Nice to have you back at the controls, Michael. It's nice to be here, partner. It's very nice to be here. Man, this baby must corner like it's on rails. Oh, I'm fine. I'll be, I'll be fine. Um, well, in a moment, I'm going to put those, uh, those hubcaps on. Uh, so luckily, they weren't damaged just now. All right, where were we? Okay, well, while we wait for that to happen, I think, although we're not gonna make the car black, we could at least do a chrome delete. Kind of make it a bit more kit-like in that sense, because he, of course, had black trim, and a bit more dark and handsome. You'll be a dog that doesn't exist soon if you're not careful. <sighs> Let's go do it. doesn't it? But before I reveal the final product, I think we need one more element. Kit had that distinctive stealthy rear wing or rear spoiler, and believe it or not, there's nothing actually like it for the Tesla, at least not in stock and available, but I did find this huge spoiler warning, and I reckon if we don't use those goofy looking side bits, this might be the perfect balance of modern meets Kit retro rear spoiler to balance out all the other work we've done today. And if that's to be believed, it might even compensate for that approximate 3% efficiency that we lost by removing the Tesla aero wheels. Who knows, but it probably can't hurt. Of course, it matches our matte black chrome delete as well. Now, admittedly, the wheels look 
great just as they are now and it's tempting to actually just leave it here but i think we should just finish the job and get those bowling ball covers installed as the icing on the party cake i feel like the booby prize at a halloween party <laughs> he said booby <sighs> Update for my supporters following on my Patreon lens. We're almost done. seen some of the skills of some of those auto shop workers earlier you might be wishing you had the same skills which makes this a great time to introduce you to ad free online learning community Skillshare, Skillshare. who are sponsoring this fresh boat to inspire discovery through creativity now i think we all have things we wish we knew but don't really want the rigmarole of joining an online college or such like which is why i was genuinely surprised by how in less than a minute skillshare had me learning about things i'd always wanted to explore for future youtube video creation like this combustion engine course by john russell in really easy to digest and clearly explained steps I recommend Skillshare whether you're just looking for personal growth, a class for some relaxation, or to level up your skills for your business or just a side hustle. So invest in yourself and your personal growth by joining Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the special link in my description will get a one month free trial. You're welcome. Well, we are getting there, but before the big reveal and some glamorous glamour shots at a very special retro location, stay tuned. Well, I have a surprise for you. See, I've been a bit sneaky and a few months ago, I ordered something else. Now, Kit's license plate was, of course, night. And though nothing like that is available anymore, nor can it legally be yellow and blue or even six letters today, I've tried to find the right balance of hinting towards that with this. It's a custom vanity plate that reads as close to Kitesla as you can get with seven letters. And it's even better if you like flying kites in LA. Plus, thanks to the new black and yellow legacy design available in California, we have at least mimicked the yellow lettering of the real kit's plate, with a blue plate surround hinting at the original blue metal, and that night wording still present only on the surround. California, Kitesla, night. Love it. of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. K-I-T-T -T for easy reference. A kit if you prefer.
But there is one problem with how much I love this. And all of that means it's also a good night from me, from Kit himself, and from Juni Fractic. Because we have reached the end of our Kit Tesla minute limit. But there is much more in store for episode four. Hey, that rhymes. No comment. Thank you. Uh, because Handshow have sent us a bunch of electronics upgrades that include, and I can't quite believe this, automatic doors that open when you approach, just like Kit used to do for Michael. I feel like I'm kind of turning into Michael Knight with the sunglasses and the leather jacket. Oh, may maybe it's Garth Knight. It's worse than I imagined. <laughs> it's just a bit of facial hair. It, it grows if I don't cut it. You wouldn't understand. You're a computer. Not at all. Are you not? Yeah, well, while I debate with Kit whether he's become sentient, I'll let you go. Make sure you're subscribed for that next episode. And if you want to support the channel and get early access to it, the link is in the description. The search of my data banks turned up negative. It's in because it's, it's in the description already. Uh, well, I'm going to leave you guys with a special homage to the end title sequence of Knight Rider, filmed with our new looking, more Kit like Kit Tesla. Until next time, thanks for watching. Comment below and cheerio. Shall we drink to what may be the start of, um, of what? One man's dream and to our future no matter who it may take us up against or where one man can make a difference michael Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a dangerous world, the world of the Knight Rider. Good girl, American nut.